I'll be using the Zeiss C Sonar 51.5 and I'm just going to read some specifications from the spec sheet. Uh, the minimum focusing range is 0.9 millimeters to infinity. It does have six elements in four groups. And this description is by Zeiss. It says that this lens is a modern te technological reincarnation of the classic sonar 51.5, the fastest standard lens of its time for the contacts to range finder camera. It is fast, very resistant to flaring, and unusually compact. And yes, it is very, very small. With this well-controlled distortion, the lens produces a very accurate representation of objects. It can take the same filters which fit the ZM Zeiss mount wide-angle lenses with 28, 25, and 21 focal lengths. This is a very versatile lens for photojournalistic work in general and for available light photography in particular. Today I'll be using this lens primarily for portraiture and I read online that this lens is very very good for portraits. It even gives a very nice uh, 3D rendering of the portraits. And today uh, my friend Naomi is visiting from Hawaii and we're going to use it on her and see how they come out. Hi, I'm Captain Obvious. Sorry, it's, over, it's, over, it's overcast right now. <laughs> and I was thinking earlier with the uh, Zeiss Sonar 51.5 that the Leica M9P would cut off or would max out the shutter speed at one four thousandths of a second. But it is not going to be the case today because it is overcast so I can shoot all day 1.5. But I want to review uh, this lens at 1.5, uh, at 2.8 and about f4 apertures on our model we have today and of course i'll talk about build quality and also talk about how it feels in the, in the hands and our model today is naomi hi i'm naomi uh i'm from guam but i'm living in hawaii currently and i'm very excited to do this shoot because i'm only here for a week uh sadly it's overcast but we're gonna make it work yeah yeah i think <laughs> i may have to rely on photoshop to photoshop like orbs of light from the sunlight but yeah We'll make it work today. Build quality for this lens is really great. It is very well built. Uh, what you expect from Zeiss uh, and their lenses, it's really uh, top quality. The uh, size of it is very small. It's actually uh, a perfect size for the digital rangefinder Leica. <laughs> I noticed with the Zeiss 50 Sonar 1.5, the closest focusing is 0.9 meters and it goes to 1 meters just with a slight push of the focus ring. This may be a turn off for some people. Some people would like closer focusing at 0.7 meters. Great shoot. We had fun. And I'm surprised that at 1.5, this lens is actually pretty sharp, as I can see on this screen. Screen, again, it's not that great, but I gotta look at the photos on the computer. But 1.5 looks really good. A lot of smooth bokeh that I've been seeing on the back LCD screen. And um, the 0.9 close focus of the uh, 0.9 meters close focus isn't really that much of a disadvantage. Um, anyway, since we're shooting portraits, it, it's okay to be about three feet uh, from the model. So how do you think the she went today? It was fun. There was so much to say. Yeah. It was it was darker than I was hoping it to be, but like I said, we made it work. Yeah, some some were um, pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Stuttering there, I, we're tired. <laughs> we're gonna get something to eat soon. We good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm hungry too. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, nothing Sorry. much else to say about this lens. Uh, I do notice that it's one-third stops, uh, 1.5 again sharp, 
Um, I like the natural vignetting. Natural vignetting is very good on this lens. I'm going to look at the lens at different apertures. This is shot at 1.5. I did my best to focus on her right eye. And she was moving a little bit, but I was able to capture focus. And it's not bad. Uh, to me, it's sharp and really nice bouquet, really creamy. The next is at 2.8. As you can see, sharpness dramatically increases. Next is at f4. Really sharp. Still, bokeh is really nice too. And lastly, I did one at 5.6. And at this distance, of course, you can still see the background is blurred, but uh, there's a little motion blur here. Uh, but as you can see, 5.6 is really sharp. But looks, uh, look again at 1.5. 1.5 is really, really nice. I'm really liking the bokeh in this lens. Here we have Naomi posing near a coconut tree. And I wanted to check how the bokeh is at a distance. So these are three fourth body shots. So first is 1.5. I did my best to try to zoom in on her eyes. And I was able to grab focus. And it isn't very sharp as other lenses, but it, to me it's sharp enough you can always post process it. But the bokeh is really nice. It's really smooth here. Okay, let's look at this shot at f2.8. There's a difference in the bouquet 2.8 and going back to f 1.5. Yeah, I'm not liking the 1.5 a lot, 2.8. And this is uh, f4. Um, she was closing her eyes a little bit, but very sharp at f4 and 5.6. 5.6, there isn't um, that much background to subject separation, but overall, a very good lens. Let's look at 1.5 again. Really love the bokeh here, it's really nice. And the this vignetting is natural. I did not set any lens profile in the camera itself.